Hi everyone, my name is Teacher Edna and welcome to my science class. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for more updated videos. Are you ready now kids? Let us begin! Our lesson for today is all about invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals without backbone. Its body parts and functions are simpler compared to those of the vertebrates. There are eight main groups of invertebrates. The first group are the arthropods. They have segmented bodies and tough skeleton with jointed appendages and hardened outer skeleton. This is the largest group in the animal kingdom. There are four groups of arthropods. The first one is arachnids. This includes spiders, daddy long legs, scorpions, the maggots, and ticks. The next group of arthropods are crustaceans. Crustaceans include the crabs, lobsters, crayfish, shrimp, krill, barnacles, brine shrimp, poppy pods, Ostracods and advanced shrimp. Crustaceans are found in a wide range of habitats. Most are free living freshwater or marine animals, but some are terrestrial, like the wood lice. Another group of arthropods are insects. Insects usually refer to familiar pests or disease carriers, such as bed bugs, house flies, clothes moths. Japanese beetles, aphids, mosquitoes, fleas, horseflies, and hornets, or to conspicuous groups such as butterflies, moths, and beetles. The last group of arthropods are myriapods. Myriapods include millipedes and centipedes. The second group of invertebrates are mollusks. They are soft-bodied animals with shells inside or outside their bodies called exoskeleton. Examples of these are snails, octopus, squid, and clowns. Another group of invertebrates are echinoderms. These are marine animals with a spiny endoskeleton. They have a water, vascular system, and tube feet. Examples of this are starfish, brittlefish, sea cucumber, and sea urchins. The next group of invertebrates are periferans. These are pore bearing animals attached to rocks or seafloor, just like sponges. The next group of invertebrates are nadarians. They are hollow intestine animals. They have one body opening and most have two layer cells. Examples of this are jellyfish, anemone, and corals. The next group of invertebrates are bloody helmets. They are flattened, elongated worm-like animals. Examples are flatworms, tapeworms, and flukes. Another group of invertebrates are nematodes. They are elongated, unsegmented worm-like. They are parasites of humans, plants, and animals. Examples of these are ascaris, pinworms, and hookworms. The last group of invertebrates are annelids. They are elongated, worm-like animals with body segments. Some annelids are earthworms and logworms. Did you learn something from our lesson today? I hope you did. Now it's time to answer this activity. Direction to which group of invertebrates the following animals belong. You have 5 seconds to answer. Number 1. Jellyfish Number two, black worms. Two, black worms. Very good. The answer is ten Three, 
Earthworms. Earthworms. The Atlas Emeralds. Next, shrimps. 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 You get it right to the answer is nice. I hope you learned from our lesson today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more updated video lessons. See you next time. Bye, everyone.